I understand we're going to get serious now with the song that uh, is for our veterans. Yeah, the 8th of November. Right. Um, John and I were so fortunate to meet a fella uh, back in the beginning of Big and Rich. Um, the first place we ever actually played was a ticket that said Big and Rich on it. It's Deadwood, South Dakota. Speaking of The Apprentice, I mean, the, uh, the, sl- the Bachelor was just shot there, right? And uh, our bartender at this little, little place we were playing there, this little juke joint, um, his name was Niles Harris. Niles uh, uh, told us this story. Uh, we got to know him there um, about the 8th of November, 1965, when he was part of uh, one of the first troops doing a hump in, in Vietnam. Um, and uh, he and about 30 guys were ambushed one day by 12, over 1,200 Viet Cong. His story was just, I don't know how you can even uh, make it all make sense in in your head what he went through that day, but needless to say, it it moved John and I past belief. Um, There in Deadwood, up on Mount Moriah, when you're down on the little main street and you look up there, there's a flag that sits up on that hill and it's lit up all night long. And um, I came uh, walking down the middle of uh, Main Street one morning, (laughs) And uh, find John sitting there in the window, this little place we're staying, looking up at that flag, and has started to put together the song. Um, it tells his story and the story of all those uh, uh, like him, and there's many of them around us right here every day, every day to give so much, put it all on the line. And uh, we've just found it to be one of the most important things that we've done in our careers is to let them know that we hear, we hear, we're here, and we hear you, and we hear your stories, and um, we're your neighbors, we're your friends, we're the people who care too, and we care about them. And, um, this goes out to uh, all the veterans, all those serving right now, all the family members, all those serving right now. Um, powerful song, 8th of November. One, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> Said goodbye to his mama as he left South Dakota to fight for the red, white, and blue. He was 19 and green with a new M16, just doing what he had to do. He was dropped in the jungle where the choppers would rumble with the smell of napalm in the air. And the sergeant said, Look up ahead Like a dark evil cloud Twelve hundred came down on him And twenty-nine more They fought for their lives But most of them died In the one seventy-third airborne On the eighth of November The angels were crying As they carried his brothers away With the fire fly through a clear blue sky in 1965, the 8th of November. And now he's 58 and his ponytail's gray, but the battle still plays in his head. And he limps when he walks, but he's strong when he talks. About the shrapnel they left in his leg He puts on a gray suit over his airborne tattoo As he ties it on one time a year And remembers the falling as he orders a tall one Swallows it down with his tears On the 8th of November The angels were crying as they carried his brothers away with the fire raining down and the hell all around There were few men left standing that day Saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky In 1965, the 8th of November
old eagle fly through a clear blue sky in 1965. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were few men left standing that day. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, Standing that day, saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky in 1965. The eighth of November. Said goodbye to his mama as he left South Dakota to fight for the red, white, and blue. He was 19 and green with a new M16, just doing what he had to do. That is a Thank powerful you. song. And you know, Thank today you. is the 70th anniversary of, I uh, anniversary of Iwo Jima. It's today. Wow. So uh, all of our veterans out there, we appreciate you guys and girls and all the families of the veterans and ones that are serving. They, they got it tough, too. So uh, we appreciate you. And American blessings on you and every generation of your family to come. We appreciate your service. Very nice. Well, we appreciate that song. Thank you. That's great. You Thank you. I don't want to ask you a political question because I don't want to get you started, John. I know how you get sometimes. 